the power of Fidel Castro and, and the Cuban Revolution uh, stands as a, a as a phenomenon of, of resisting uh, the the American pushback against the the Cuban Revolution. That is in a region that had been in, that had been repeatedly intervened militarily in Mexico and in Central America in Central America. Uh, political intermeddling, economic intervention in, in South America. The, the example of Cuba, especially, I think, especially with the failed uh, invasion of the Bay of Pigs, which contributed powerfully to the consolidation and the centralization of power. And, and the Cubans celebrated the, the, the Bay of Pigs as the first defeat of imperialism in the Americas. And that, and that, and that projection, that 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 boast, that victory, uh, just just reverberated across Latin America, uh, and perhaps any more than anything else, suggested that that a people resolved, the leader resolved, uh, with the capacity to resist uh, intervention, uh, perhaps it was indeed possible. And, and and when the Cubans exhort Latin America to make the Andes the Sierra Maestra of the New World. Um, that idea, that idea of being able to, to affirm uh, autonomy, agency, self-determination, national sovereignty, just resonated across the, the Western, across Latin America. Uh, and Che Guevara takes the model of the Cuban guerrilla war, uh, the focal theory, the idea that, that a small handful of people will inter themselves in, uh, in, in the interior, the hinterland of, of a, a Latin American country. Uh, can create what we we'll call the uh, the subjective conditions of revolution, and from that guerrilla focal would expand a revolutionary movement that would eventually uh, prevail and, and proclaim victory. The, the Che Guevara model of of the of revolution they essentially is the replication of the Cuban guerrilla war during the 57 and 58. 